This is for year 12 specialists. It comes out of the complex numbers, circular functions, vector trial number three, question four. So I've got a complex number here, z. I know that the magnitude of z is bigger than one. Now that's important because if I do one on z, therefore that's going to have to be smaller than z because, for instance, if the magnitude of z was 3, then 1 on z would be 1 third. So it's going to be much, much smaller. So um, represents by point P. So z is point P. Complex number of negative 1 on z, negative 1 on z, obviously it's going to be a magnitude much, much smaller. So it can't be any of these. It can only be b or c. Now what I do know about 1 on z, it's going to be um, 1 on the magnitude of z times the conjugate of z. The reason by that is that if z was a plus bi, if I have 1 over a plus bi, I times it by a minus bi, so I end up with 1 on a squared plus b squared a minus bi. Therefore, um, 1 on z would have to be smaller, and it's going to be the conjugate. Therefore, the imaginary component is now going to be negative. It's going to put it down to here. And the negative will place it all the way over, and b has to be my answer. If I had negative 1 on the conjugate of z, then if I've got the conjugate of z, then 1 on the conjugate of z is going to be z. Therefore, I've still got my negative. c is going to be the answer for this one. And how would you change the question so that d was the answer? Well, d has the same angle is what B does, so it's got the same argument as B, except it's much, much bigger than B. Therefore, for D to be the correct answer, what I would like is the magnitude of Z to be bigger than 1, sorry, smaller than 1. Because if the magnitude of Z is smaller than 1, 1 on Z will be bigger. However, it's going to be um, so the only change that I would make is that the magnitude of z is smaller than 1. Therefore, instead of b, d would be my right answer.